Sorry about that, babe. What's up, guys? We are back with Bits Plays Final Fantasy 1 on the NES. This is part 5. Uh, in our last part, we set sail away from Provoka to the town of Elfland in the Castle of the Elf, where we encountered the elf, who has uh, been put into a deep slumber, and you need an herb in order to awake him. In order to get the herb, you gotta go back to Matoya's cave, which is where we were in one of the earlier parts, but she needs a crystal. So in order to get the crystal, or excuse me, in order to get the herb, we need the crystal. Uh, and we did learn about... God, what was his name? Forgot what his name was already. Let's see. Uh, Astos, the Dark Elf, who is uh, above this town here. But we're a little bit behind in terms of leveling equipment and spells, so we're going to be doing some grinding, and I will be speeding up the footage in order to not bore you to death. So uh, I'll see you on the other side. Alright guys, we're back. We did a little bit of grinding. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Provoka, and I'm gonna buy the Ice Spell for Jimmy. Uh, and then I'm gonna head back to Alfland to presumably buy the Saber for Ryu, and potentially the Iron Shield and I think Caps were available for everybody there, but they might be available in Provoka, which I will just check when I head over that way. Grinding is a bit tough in this game. It's not so much that I don't mind doing it, um, but obviously grinding for YouTube could be a little boring, quite frankly. I don't want the entire playthrough to be nothing but sped up footage, but at the same time, uh, you know, you know how it be. <clears throat> so this particular segment's actually at about 22 minutes right now, but since the majority of it's sped up, it's probably only gonna be about <laughs> three or four minutes until you get here at the most. But I really did feel like it was necessary to grind for some uh, better equipment and spells before we head off uh, to the place to the north of Elfland. And I guess if we pick up more experience along the way, it's not the end of the world. There we go. Alright, so we wanted to buy the ice spell here. And I'll check to see if they have caps, too, I guess, on the way out, but I think that might have been in... in Elfland. I think we could buy the Saber here, but... Alright, so Jimmy wants to learn... Ice. Let's just verify that everything's all good there. There we go. And let's check to see if we can buy caps here or not, otherwise we're gonna head back to Elfland to do uh, the rest of our restocking. And then I guess whatever um, gold that we would have left, I'm probably just gonna put into a bunch of heals and stuff, because we use them quite frequently. Let's see. Okay, that stuff was not here. Got it. Alright, back to Elfland we go. Luckily, we are able to, uh, I may have mentioned it in my last segment, um, that we could just sail back to Canaria. It's only 30 Gs to spend a night at the inn there, whereas Elfland, I believe, is 100. And at this point, you know, we're not really in the position to just be tossing money out. Alright, let's head back. Uh, I don't really feel like it. So let's run. Luckily, uh, like I said, I read online that one of the major benefits um, of the thief is you're able to more easily run away from battle, which I think is pretty evident. I really haven't had any kind of problem doing that yet. All right, let's upgrade Ryu. Although, honestly, like... Sorry, I just clanged into my desk. 
Can Bits use the saber as well? Um, let me see. Okay, Bits can use the saber. Okay, so I think I should probably buy two sabers at this point. Let me just double check here. Baby. Damage is 13 compared to what I currently have. Which I believe... Eh. Only 9, because I think I have the Iron Hammer. Yeah, so I'm gonna buy two sabers, actually. I think that's the name of the game. Ryu. And then let's buy a saber. Gift bits. Equip. Weapon. Saber. Saber. Alright. And then let's sell our old stuff. Yep. Oops. That clunky old menuing, though, you know what I'm saying? Alright. Ryu. We will sell this, which was a complete waste of money. And let's head over to the armory. And then I'm actually gonna have to stop. I'm not gonna stop this segment, but I have to stop in real life for a minute. All right, we could definitely buy caps for everybody. I just wanna verify that the wooden, wooden helmet, yeah, it can only be worn by bits, so. And the caps can be worn by everybody? Uh, yes they can. Armor. Oops. Alright. And let's buy some healing goodies from here. Probably a couple more heals. Probably another pure. And let's head outside. And we don't want to lose our, our progress, so we'll probably pop the tent. save. Alright guys, I'm gonna be picking up here shortly. Um, you will see me in a minute. Alright guys, we are back. Sorry about that. Like I said, I get delayed all the time in real life. But I'll do my best to uh, edit it so it doesn't really uh, affect you guys too much. Oh, I sure hope that we don't have to encounter too many of these poison enemies on the way up to the, uh, the Northwest Castle here. And we're poisoned <laughs> instantly! Fuck! God damn you. Of course. That's right, just att attack bits. Don't poison anybody else, please. fucking poison. Yo, this is honestly absolutely fucking ridiculous. Oh my god. Yes, yes, yes. The one thing that I totally forgot about this game from the uh, PS1 version, you miss all your fucking attacks, and then, worst case scenario, always happens. Like, really? 
Oh my god, I'm gonna have to go back and buy some more, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna have to go buy some more. Ay, ay, ay. Switch everybody up again. I get what the game was trying to do there. I get that when you're poisoned, you're allegedly weak, so they're trying to put you into a spot where you're gonna take less, less hits. But at the end of the day, you know, it ends up putting your really weak guys in harm's way, so. Hopefully we don't encounter too many po- I, Honestly, actually, I should probably run from them. I should probably just run from them. And that's what I think I'm gonna do. But for now, we'll buy that. And we'll just- we'll deal with it. Taking it on the chin. We'll look at it positively, like we got some extra experience points or something. But otherwise, we're gonna be high-tailing it out of there. Um... Yeah, sure, why not? Ah, <clears throat> uh, yes, missing. Oh, what the fuck? Yo, everything poisons you here? Oh my god. Yo, I am, I'm not gonna lie, I'm fucking hanging right now. I, I don't. I guess I'm not gonna fight anything. If anything's green, I can't fight it. I only thought it was the uh, the arachnids and the snakes that poisoned you. I guess I should have assumed that a green werewolf would poison you as well. But holy fuck, man, this sucks. And they have like tons of fucking health, apparently. Fucking finally. Well, as long as I get don't get too damaged here, I am 100% just gonna use a, uh, yeah. God damn, that sucked. All right, time to swap everybody again, right? <clears throat> that was an easy swap, though, at least. Easy swap. Ooh, double ogres. This is tempting. I think I'm actually gonna fight them. Level 2 magic ice only does 20? Kinda sucks, huh? This should yield a uh, good experience and good... good gold, so... So I do know, like I mentioned, that the Marsh Cave is on the horizon. I'm pretty sure that we need to go to the Marsh Cave, like... It's either the next thing, or the thing after the next thing. And it's pretty hard. It's like a clear, like, hey, are you ready for the game sort of test. So we'll probably end up having to do more grinding. Which I don't really give a shit about, it just kind of makes the, uh, the YouTube videos a little less appealing, I guess. I mean, if you're signing up to an RPG and you don't expect to grind, then I, I don't know what you're really... What you're really expecting. Anyway, that was worth it. Let's heal Jimmy, though. Lots of gold. Nice. Leveled up. Perfect. Yeah, I feel like we want to be at least, like, level 8 
before we go into the marsh cave, so ugh. Ugh. Probably use two of those, actually. Alright, continuing on northward here. I'm gonna run. Please don't attack me. Unfucking real, dude. Oh my god, this game has me fucking hanging. <sighs> yes, I'm salty. Like, give me a break, dude. There's one fucking enemy on the screen, and you let me run, but no, we're gonna let it get an attack in, and it's gonna fucking poison you. Just, I don't know, dude. Sometimes this fucking game. <sighs> oh, we got some bats in here. Kiki! Does that mean that there's gonna be random battles in here, though? That's the main question. Astos double-crossed us. Go south to the Cave of Marsh to retrieve the crown, then bring it directly back to me. Okay, so here's here's a scoop. Now I remember. We gotta go to the Cave of Marsh to get the crown. We bring it back here. And then I think we get the herb after doing that. No, 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 I think we get the crystal. And then we gotta go back to Matoya to get the herb. And then we gotta bring the herb back to the, the elf dude. Okay. It's all kind of starting to add up now, but yeah, we're gonna have to do some grinding, although I saw something over to the left here in the castle, so I want to go look, that, look at that. Would you look at that? Probably locked. Whatever it is. Presumably there would be treasure here, so let's see. Yep, we need the Mystic Key. Yeah, we're gonna have to backtrack a lot for some uh, Mystic Key stuff. Hmm. Alright, so yeah guys, the next uh, the next step is the Cave of Marsh. Indeed it is. Hmm. Interesting. See, so, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna try to fight stuff and level up. This see this fight isn't really worth my time. If this was like an old school Final Fantasy. Or not an old school Final Fantasy, excuse me. It's funny, I'm playing the first one and I'm like, yeah, if this was an old school one, uh, what I meant was like one of the later ones, one of the later old school ones. You know, that that's a fight where you just spam attack. Cause you know, it'll auto adjust an attack if one of them gets knocked out, but in this one, it would just take fucking forever, so. Better off running, even if I'm eating some shots, I guess. Probably gonna be back on that ogre grind, I suppose. Ooh, a geist! Oh, watch this, guys! We could utilize some good magic here, actually. We could utilize harm. These guys should be undead, right? Yeah, okay. Ooh, I'm stunned. So as far as upgrades go beyond simply leveling and buying, like, tons of potions and shit, uh, I think I got, I got all the caps for everybody. I made a little checklist here. That's a lot of gold, that's good. Um, I got the saber, and I got the ice spell. Right. Do I have the iron shield currently? I don't, I have the wooden shield. So left on my list would be the iron shield, the copper bracelets, and the silver sword. The bracelets are a thousand apiece, and the silver sword is four thousand. And then I got a couple spells, which I'd like to get, but like I'd rather buy the equipment first, to be completely honest. Hmm. What's my gold situation? 951. So I don't think I could buy anything. I think I might be able to buy the iron shield. Is that here? Am I making all this up in my head? Where's Cheryl? Have you seen my daughter? Alright. Okay, so there is the iron shield here. There's also the iron armor. Hold up. What kind of armor do I have? 
chain armor. I'm going to assume... that the... chain armor is not as good? Let's see. Let's look at my, my thing here. Uh, iron armor... 24, 23, and chain armor is 15, 15. Yeah, so that definitely is almost almost a double upgrade, kind of. Hmm. Well, in that case, let's buy it. Oh, I can't carry anymore. <laughs> All right. Oh, let's sell that then. And then let's buy the iron armor. Get the bits. And then let's sell the wooden shield. And then let's buy the iron shield. All right. So even though bits is like already our clearly our strongest attacker, I still just want to beef him up as much as possible. And I say that we head back to Canaria and rest at the end there and get ready for a grind slog. Oh, f fuck, where did I, what? Oh, okay, Woo! I got scared that my, uh, that my ship disappeared for some reason, <laughs> but I forgot that it's in the port above. So we're good, we're good people, false alarm. Yeah, we're gonna have to do some grinding in the next, uh, in the next segment. For sure. What does Nintendo Power recommend that I go, go in at? Wait until 8 or 9. And let me tell you guys, the Marsh Cave is not fun. It is not fun. So hopefully not only are we level 8 or 9 across the board, but I would prefer, uh, honestly, to go into the cave either with a set of bracelets all around, or somehow if I can get the Silver Sword. Oh shit, Raze is almost dead. I got the Iron Shield. Man, this fight is dragging. Holy fuck. Misses, though. Shit reminds me of Baldur's Gate combat sometimes. I'm wondering if they were trying to go, obviously, with... On the screen, it doesn't appear as intricate, but I was wondering if they were trying to go with kind of like a Dungeons & Dragons sort of um, battle system, just with all the misses. For those of you familiar with the first Baldur's Gate, I never played the second one. Um, you just you fucking miss all the time, early in the game, especially. Okay, we're gonna need to run here. Help me, Ryu. Thank you. And get in there. All right, we made it. Oh boy, the slog has begun, people. But you know what? The thing about the slog here... The thing about the slog with these older games is you feel like you're really earning your keep and you're making your progress. These games don't hold your hand. They don't make it easy for you. It's not just uh, press a button to win, basically. You really gotta grind, you really gotta think about what you're buying, what kind of spells you're using, when to use those spells, you know, do I go back and heal, blah, blah, blah. And I'm telling you right now, from the jump, the Marsh Cave is tough. It is tough. Yeah, I was gonna say, Nintendo Power tells me to take 99 healing potions, and, and they ain't wrong, otherwise you're gonna be leaving and leaving and leaving, and it's just like, it's a rough one. So we're gonna definitely have to do some grinding. Um, I'll, I'll see if I'll speed it up next playthrough, or if I'll just kind of tell you what I did. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the playthrough. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I do my best to reply to every comment on the videos. And, uh, yeah, a little bit of a grind, and then the Marsh Cave, guys. See you next time.